hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope you're home. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make something that a lot of people love to eat. You see on a lot of menus, and you can buy it at the store, but it's better when you make it at home. Hummus. I grew up eating it. It's only a few steps, and like I said, you can find it on every menu. Why did I grow up eating it? Because my mom is Armenian, and she was born in Beirut, Lebanon, and she's the real deal. She is an amazing cook and chef, and she did it professionally, and so she's gonna be so excited when she sees that I'm using canned garbanzo beans. You may not have the time to soak the beans and boil them over. This is the quickest and easiest way to do it. And I also have tahini that I'm gonna put in and tahini is just pure ground sesame seed paste. I found this at Ralph's and you can usually find it next to like the peanut butter or whatever. Watch, this is gonna take me like no time at all. All right, so we're gonna take the garbanzo beans that came out of the can, which I rinsed with water, by the way. We're gonna put them in the mixer. I'm gonna keep a few for decoration. You don't have to use a mixer. You can use a hand mixer. You can use your magic bullet. You can use your blender, whatever you have. I'm gonna do half a cup of tahini. Tahini is super, super thick. You wanna stir it nice and well. You actually don't want it to be super thick. This is the one time you don't want something to be thick. So then we're gonna get half a cup of the tahini and we're gonna put it in here. Yeah. I'm gonna do a third cup of olive oil. Room temperature water, a third cup is good. I have the juice of a whole lemon. I'm gonna put it in there. Garlic, I'm doing three cloves of garlic because I like to stink. I am going to add salt. Again, salt is for your taste. Add what you think you're going to want and maybe a little less because you can always go back and add more. I'm going to add cumin. Cumin is a spice that you'll find in pretty much any spice aisle at your grocery store. So what do we put in there? Garbanzo beans, olive oil, garlic, water, tahini, lemon, and now mix this all together. And we're back. So now you're gonna taste it for texture and to see if everything is the way it's supposed to be. Oh, this is so good. Mm. It's still a little too chunky for me. I'm going to mix this a little bit longer. And we're back. We're gonna taste this one more time. Okay. Okay, this is the perfect consistency for me. The salt, the lemon, everything is exactly the way I like it. I took the extra garbanzo beans, remember, for decor, because you know, your hummus has to be a little extra. It can't look like the store-bought stuff. And by the way, this is so much better for you because you're making this at home. You know exactly what's in it. How quick and easy was that? And you know you can serve it with celery, carrots, pita chips, crackers, organic, clean, gluten-free. And this is also vegan. We have the garbanzo beans for the top. We're gonna get some more of the olive oil. I like mine spicy, so I have some hot red pepper here. I'm gonna put that as well. So here you go. I also put the cumin back on top, and voila, you have homemade hummus. Not for the traditionalists, because we did not soak and boil the garbanzo beans, but it looks pretty good, and it tastes really good. So I know you guys are like, oh, Morella, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. You totally showed us how to make something that takes like two seconds to make and that we all know about. Make us a cocktail. All right, so here we go. Today, we're going to make what I like to call a blueberry sparkler. It's made with vodka. I've done it with tequila and with vodka, so they both taste fine. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the blueberries in the shaker because we're going to muddle them. Well, I'm going to use the juice of a lemon. Here we go. You're gonna squeeze that lemon like you own it. Like it's been bad. We've got the blueberries in there and the lemon, so we are going to muddle, muddle, muddle. And by the way, if you wanted to make this spicy, you could. I've also done that. Muddle some jalapenos in it. It's really tasty. And we're muddled. So next, we're gonna put the vodka in. Two of these shot glasses in there. There's one. We're going to add this lavender syrup. It literally smells like candy. It smells so good. I found that a total wine. I'm gonna do like three quarters of that in here. Okay, and now we're gonna shake all of this. I'm shaking it without ice because I'm going to pour it over ice, but I don't want all the bits and pieces of the blueberries that we muddled to get into the drink because you don't want pieces of blueberry in your teeth when you're drinking. Oh, even though some of them got in there. <laughs> 
I'm topping this off with this dry lavender sparkling soda. Super easy to find. Again, I found it at um, Total Wine. It's like the essence of lavender, so it's not like you're drinking, you know, freaking potpourri. Zhuzh this up a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna slide that right in. And look at how pretty this looks. And it smells phenomenal. And it tastes so refreshing. There you have it, a blueberry sparkler. Looks pretty and tastes really good. I hope you guys are all well. I hope you're all safe. I'll see you hopefully sooner than later. <laughs>